Okay, so I was recording this last night, and I and I get nervous in front of a mic, so it took me a lot of takes. I didn't really know what I was going to say over this video, so I just kept starting and restarting, and eventually I calmed down and stopped really caring about what I said. I started talking about how... I started talking about the process... So when I was making this render, I recorded that over many hours, and then I brought it into Premiere, and I managed to make a time lapse that was about 10 minutes. And my thought was, oh, I just got to talk for 10 minutes. I don't know what I was going to say for 10 minutes. So ultimately, I decided to just talk for less than 10 minutes and see if I can make the time lapse even shorter to match however long the audio clip was and in the end i finally had a take where i felt comfortable and satisfied with what i recorded and i saved it and i went to bed so that file was corrupted i don't know why i'm not really good at this stuff but i can't use it so now here i am re-recording this whole bit that's fine I get to talk about this for a few minutes to make the recording a little longer, which I guess is useful for me. The first Metal Gear Solid game I played was Snake Eater. I saw Metal Gear Solid 2 a little bit as a kid. I maybe played it, but I have no memories of it. I, My older cousin would give me the controller sometimes, but I didn't really think of it as me playing the game. It was more just watching my cousin play whatever he was doing. And I didn't know the name of the game, whatever. So Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater was the first one in the series that I played as a person. So to me, that's my fa that's, that's my first game in the series. So one Halloween, I decided to dress up as Naked Snake, the character in that game. And I wanted to make a lot of props. And one of the things I carried around with me was an empty Calorie Mate box. I didn't really know how to get my hands on them in real life. Well, this is in the 2000s, and I didn't really know how to order this online. I didn't know how to get my hands on them. So I just found some images online, and I put them into Photoshop, and I printed them out into a, te a box template, folded it, and made my own little box out of it. I printed it on photo paper so it would be a little thicker and glossier, and it turned out pretty decent. I made two of them, put them in my, in my box. That was cool. But I was always curious about what they would actually taste like. I wanted to have the snack, because in the game he says they taste good, but he also says snakes taste good. So I just, you know, I was kind of curious. Well, anyway, in the last few months I started playing the games again. I've been streaming them as a way to come up with inspiration for some art so i'm doing fan art of the metal gear franchise for now for the foreseeable future i'll be doing a lot of metal gear fan art because that's what i'll be playing for a while i just i actually just finished beating snake eater so we'll see what i play after that anyway for the stream i thought it'd be fun to eat those on can so It'd be fun to be able to eat those on camera, which I did. And so I, because it's a lot easier to buy stuff online nowadays, I just ordered some. And they were not bad. I wouldn't say they're great. They're kind of just like a not very flavorful cookie. So overall good, I would say. If I wanted a, a nice little treat, I wouldn't go for that. But if I wanted something that was, I don't know, like filling or I was taking on a hike, uh, I, you could do worse. Well, yeah, so I had those on my mind, calorie mates, and I thought that'd be a fun little thing to model and render. So that's what I did. And if this feels a little forced, it's because it is because I've already said this. I'm not used to the whole saying the whole thing I just said last night. As if I never said it before. Is there any food from any games or movies that you've always wanted to try that you could try? Maybe it exists in real life? 
I know there's some energy drinks that are seem to be based on real ones in the Yakuza series or the Like a Dragon series that I would be curious to taste. Even if it's just to keep the bottle afterwards because it's kind of neat. Yeah, this little render was pretty fun to do. You, uh, you have a good one. Goodbye.